Shalom, royal family. The class you are about to hear is taught by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, many years ago. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Visit us at www.yahweh144000.com. Also, royal family, you can enroll in classes designed for the Godhead at www.universityofyahweh.org. Enjoy. After we move along a little while, there's still John 16, 12 going on in my head. There are many things I want to say to you now, but you cannot bear it yet. But it's going to be a joy to me when, when the full realization of who you are finally swings into your mind. And that's when you'll know who we all are. <laughs> then you'll understand the mystery of Isaiah 9, 6. But I'm trying precept upon precept to bring you into the knowledge of who you are. Then you'll know who I am. Then we'll all know Yahweh. We'll know our Father. Praise Yahweh. Because the words that I speak to you are not my words. They are my Father Yahweh's words. They are his, not mine. I'm not smart enough to teach you what I'm teaching you. Yahweh is all wise. All intelligent, all seeing and all knowing, he is, and we are of Yahweh. So we are supposed to have fear and dread of us before the nation. We're supposed to feel terror. When they just think about us, they're supposed to have terror in their heart. Tremble and shake like a leaf. The devil knows if you know there's one God, you do well. But the devils know that Yahweh is God and they tremble. All right, son. Dread. To hold in all our reverence. To hold in awe. They're supposed to also hold us in reverence. See, you got fear and worship attitude, right? Okay. To anticipate with alarm. Alarm? Alarm. Yes. They're supposed to anticipate whatever we do with alarm. A L A R M. You heard of a burglar alarm? <laughs> with great fear, and trepidation, and fright. An upsetness. Uh huh. Anxiety. Sir? Anxiety? Anxiety. Or right. reluctance. Uh huh. To be very afraid. It's supposed to be how of us? Very afraid. How? Very afraid. A little afraid. Very afraid. Am I making this up or am I just reviewing it? See how heavy our book is? Yahweh said, be holy, and we never knew it meant all of this. Read on. Profound fear. They're supposed to have profound fear of us. We're supposed to have profound fear of Yahweh. You and I are to have profound fear of Yahweh. And the nations are to have profound fear of us. Yes, <laughs> because we are associated with Yahweh. We are of Yahweh. We are from Yahweh. Read on. Terror. What? Terror. 
Terror. Uh -huh. Awe. Reverence. Anxious or fearful anticipation. The object of fear. We are to be the object of fear. Yahweh is the object of our fear, and they are supposed to hold us as an object of fear. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Awe. Or reverence. Terrifying. Fearsome. Dreadful. Awesome. You heard. Look at that. Look what we are to be. Look at what we are supposed to be. Uh-huh. That's it, sir. All right. Um, look up terror. Terror. Intense, overpowering, overpowering fear. <laughs> Intent overpowering fear. Intense. Strong. They're supposed when they see us, they should their fear should overpower them. Just looking at us. Thinking about us should put an overpowering fear in them. When they hear the name Yahweh, they're supposed to experience an intense, overpowering fear. All they have to know is we love it and follow it and keep it Yahweh's law, and it's got to be that way. We don't. Anything that instills such fear. Anything that instills such fear. Which would be like the devil did us a favor. He called himself trying to write negative about us. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Looked like he did us a favor. <laughs> He succeeded in putting the, the fear of Yahweh in the minds of the people, which is what Yahweh wants. <laughs> See, he, he creates peace and he creates evil. I, the Lord Yahweh, do all these things. So he did all of these things just to create fear of him. In the minds of the people. Hmm? He did it. He controlled all, so he did it. Read on, son. A terrifying object occurred. The ability to instill such fear. The, uh, the ability. The essence of character. The capability. To be able to do it. That's Yahweh. That's what we're supposed to have. Huh? Understand well, when you come against the children of Israel, you better know what you're doing. Our Father said he's going to destroy anybody that just ever been raised up against him. He's going to make nations blow themselves apart just because of what they did in the past. To us. You didn't know that's written? Yeah, y'all is going to make all these white nations that conspired, Psalms 83, 1 through 5, who conspired against, conspired against us, y'all is going to make them kill each other for what they did in the past. Yahweh has a book of remembrance before him for us. He said he shall repay. Vengeance is not. I shall repay, says the Lord Yahweh. So the nation's got to die. It's gonna, and of them that are left, they're going to have to come and worship and I see uh, he's going to finish killing them off with no rain on their land with no rain there'll be no food 
You die of starvation and thirst if you don't come and worship at our feet. Our Father Yahweh is in the process of bringing it about. It shall be accomplished. In the meantime, they're supposed to understand we have the ability to instill such overwhelming fear and terror. Go on, son. Terribleness. We must be terrible because Yahweh is terrible. We must be great, we must be good, and we must be terrible. Because Yahweh is great, Yahweh is good, and Yahweh is terrible. So we have to be like him. Because he's her, he's holy, he's great, he's good, he's terrible. So we're supposed to be great, we're supposed to be good, and we're supposed to be terrible. And these attributes, we're going to let the world understand. We have them. Because how many want to be great? How many want to be good? How many want to be terrible? How many want to be mighty? How many want to be awesome? How many want to be frightening? How many want to be unbelievable? Praise God. Look up here. Let's have the ability. Yes, sir. Read. Fear. A feeling of alarm or disquiet caused by the expectation of danger, pain, disaster. Read on. Or the life. Terror. Dread. Appre apprehension. An extent or manifestation of such a feeling, a state or condition of alarm or dread, extreme reverence or awe. You can come back to reverence out of fear. Reverence, that means to worship. Uh -huh. Extreme reverence or awe as toward a supreme power. Toward a supreme power. They're supposed to know we are the supreme power. That the God we serve is the supreme power. And as associates of Yahweh, we are the supreme power. We don't, son. A ground for dread or apprehension. Mm -hmm. Possibility of danger. Possibility of danger. Uh huh. To be afraid or frightened of. Now, our nature is for people to be that way. Following Yahweh makes it that way. We don't. To be anxious or apprehensive about. Mm -hmm. To be in awe of. Revere. To suspect. To feel fear within oneself. They're, they're supposed to feel fear within themselves. We're supposed to feel the fear of Yahweh within ourselves. And the nations of the earth are supposed to feel fear within themselves because of how many can see that if we live these qualities ruling the world is not going to be difficult can you see it can't rule the world and be a Christian huh? you have to be awesome in ruling the world to be ruler, Judah has to be awesome, yes, sir. devastating, yes, sir. frightening, yes, sir. fearful, yes, sir. overwhelmingly fearful, yes, sir. dreadful, yes, sir. mighty, yes, sir. terrible. Yes, sir. If you want to rule, you must be like Yahweh, holy. Now all of this is being holy now. This is just being holy. Comment is shocked right now. This is just being holy. <laughs> Read on, son. To be afraid, frightened, or terrified. Hmm. That's how everybody's supposed to feel toward us. Fearful, frightened, terrified. Uh-huh. And it gives a synonym. Synonym, yeah. 
fear, fright, dread, terror, horror, pain. Horror. Hey. Panic. Who? Panic. Panic. Who? Who's the fear of panic? Frantic panic. That's our nature. We're supposed to make people feel panic. We know. Alarm. Mm hmm Dismay. Consternation. Consternation. Dismay. Trepidation, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it, we can go on and on and on teaching you about your nature, maybe you'll start studying a little bit about yourself, see you are born with divine intelligence, superior power of mind, and you're supposed to be holy like Yahweh is holy. Awesome. Frightening. By definition. Thank you. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this knowledge which is inspired through Deuteronomy chapter 5. bow down and serve him is the law. Brethren, how wonderful it is to do things together in unity. Not your style of unity, but unity in Yahweh. That's the unity that counts. That's the unity that makes you get along at home between husband and wife. When you say I'm depressed, you're saying your mind is on other than Yahweh. You cannot be depressed in Yahweh. It's impossible. I said it's impossible to be depressed in Yahweh. If you are depressed, your mind is on other than the law. I mean, agree. Praise God. If you don't agree, you haven't studied at all. It is impossible to be unhappy in Yahweh. If you are unhappy, your mind is concerned about things other than the laws of Yahweh. Your mind has drifted. And you are there in the congregation of the day. Your mind has wandered from the path of understanding. You are living in the congregation of the dead, and the dead is catching hell. It's because Yahweh said, I am not the God of the dead, but I'm the God of the living, not of the dead. So when you leave the congregation of the living, you leave Yahweh. So if he said, I am God of the living, where is it? Matthew what? 22.32? Let's go to Matthew 22.32. I'm proving to you that if you're unhappy, you are in the congregation of the dead in your mind. That's where they live. So you need to leave them and come back to Yahweh. Leave those unhappy thoughts and come back to happiness. That's in Yahweh. You meet somebody in Yahweh and then you want to get off Yahweh and get to talking about how can I own you and possess you. I haven't seen much of you. Where you been? You're giving somebody too much time. 
I need some of your time. Y'all wish you'd have all of your time. Then you wouldn't have time to miss nobody. You'd be so full of y'all you couldn't miss nobody. See, when you spend all your energy thinking like that, your mind is off your way. Your mind should be on Yahweh and it's on the person. You should give up the person and accept Yahweh. And if both of you love Yahweh, then you're both happy. Because you're happy in Yahweh. But when one of you trying to own the other one, you got problems. When people try to bring things up like that to me as a problem, I don't even listen to it. I don't even want to hear it. Don't even discuss it. I don't know. I don't even want to hear that. I wouldn't even let my elders talk about it. Maybe he's looking at her because he is just... I don't even want to hear that. Let's, let's talk about that. We don't even talk about that. We won't spend no part of Yahweh's time in that kind of conversation. It's not about any of that. That kind of junk thought thinking makes your mind unhappy. Hmm? Makes you run, walk around and people be wondering, hmm, where is that mind? Off Yahweh. Off Yahweh. Yahweh is happiness, joy, peace, love. Because he's a God of the living. He's a living God. All right, let's read that. Matthew 22, 32. Is that what it is? Read. I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. God Yahweh is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Yahweh is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Now where's the scripture that says, when your mind, when you leave the congregation of the dead? Proverbs 21, 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And Yahweh is not the God of the dead. So when you cease to have understanding, when you cease to have understanding, in whose congregation are you? And is Yahweh your God there? No, sir. Yahweh is not the God of misunderstanding. No, sir. Yahweh is the God of understanding. Yes, sir. And as long as you remain in understanding, you're in the congregation of the living. That's right. Yes, sir. And then Yahweh is your God. So it's a pleasant thing to understand that unity in Yahweh is the only way. So we work for Yahweh in unity. It's not about who's telling me what to do. It's about doing it for Yahweh. The face and the voice of one dealing with us is really not what it's about. Because if we're already doing what we should be doing for Yahweh, we don't need anybody to tell us. But when we are not doing, we need someone to tell us. And if we don't want to do, then we get mad because they told us. I don't like him telling me what to do. But I don't want to do anything. Here you come telling me what to do, to do something. 
Well, when you're born with divine intelligence, superior power of mind, you'll find out that one of the definitions is being able to do something. One of the definitions is being able to do something. So if you're unable to do something on your own, you're not exhibiting divine intelligence, superior power of mind. So you're missing out on your blessing. Love, Yahweh, how much? All. All, A-L-L. Love your brothers and sisters with how much? All. Love your enemy, how much? Yahweh has a perfect hatred for his enemy. Where is that? Thank you. Psalms 139, 22. Psalms 139, 22. We are to have a perfect hatred for the devil. Read. I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Praise Yahweh. Read verse 21. Do not I hate them, O Lord Yudhewafe, hey, that hate thee? And am not I grieved with those that rise up? against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Praise Yahweh. That's clear how you feel about your enemy. So are we to love our enemy? Hate them out. We are to win friends of our people. But should you hang with the unrighteous? No, sir. No, sir. Should your close associates be the unrighteous? No, sir. Are you raising those that are unrighteous up to the righteous level, or are they drawing you down to the unrighteous level? If you hang with the unrighteous, they're drawing you down. What did you say? Well, I think we have scripture on that too. Psalm 1, 1 and 2. Psalm 1, 1 and 2. Three. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord Yudhewafe, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Now this is the word. Greetings, Royal Family. Let's talk about the most prestigious private university in the universe, the University of Yahweh. It is here where students, parents, adults, and teachers study the divine mind of Yahweh, Ben Yahweh, thus elevating them to contemplate and understand the loftier concepts and principles, enabling their minds to focus and think on an extraterrestrial level. This intellectual ability and unique set of skills supersede all base, mundane, and terrestrial thinking, thus allowing one's mind to open up and flourish with an overwhelming abundance of creative ideas and loftier concepts, making life and living more enjoyable. The University of Yahweh is woven deep within the fabric of the moral principles of truth, honesty, 
integrity, true holiness, righteousness, ethics, and justice for all. The University of Yahweh is designed for the Godhead, and this includes students, parents, adults, and the Godhead. In the University of Yahweh, the online platform, you gain a structured format to the approach of the divine mind of Yudhe Yahweh. We welcome you to visit our website at www.universityofyahweh.org. This platform is specifically designed for the Godhead and the Godhead family. The 144,000 chosen to rule in righteousness. We look forward to working with you as we prepare for rulership in righteousness. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Praise Yudhe Wafe. Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe. Shalom, world family. Thank you.